there's a Buddhist idea of Dharma and then a Vedanta idea of Dharma. Yeah, um, they're very much related because uh, Buddhism grew out of the the Upanishads or mm-hmm. that that whole tradition of um, the the Vedas. Mm. <coughs> but in in Buddhism, essentially, Dharma means the teachings of the Buddha. Mm. All right, the kind of the way to do. Uh, that transformation <coughs> to nirvana. The, bu- buna, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha are yeah, the three, yes. That's right. But in in the original Sanskrit, uh, it simply means, uh, well, not simply because it has, <laughs> <laughs> it has a lot of rich uh, meaning to it, but it's used primarily to denote sacred duty. Mm. Um, it is also... Uh, understood as a personal dharma as a way of uh, transformation mm-hmm. uh, your own path finding your own path in this mm-hmm. world path and of liberation to the path to self-realization mm-hmm. meaning how do you realize your true nature who you really are not just the persona as Jung would say but mm. who 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 is the one that is observing all this incredible thing that is going on in life and that self within us uh, essentially our aim uh, the aim of human life is to realize what we are well i would say in layman's terms the dharma is acting out of our true nature and and mm. discovering what that is absolutely now you have a great story uh well we all it's not your story but uh you always tell the story of arjuna and krishna in the gita and it's a really great uh, um kind of a, a story that reflects what dharma is yeah yeah i think it it gets at the root of um what it's talking about mm-hmm in story form, which is really one of the brilliance of some of the Indian epics. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, the Gita itself is one chapter of a much richer story called the Mahabharata, mm-hmm. which is the story of Bharat, the, the King Bharat, and the family lineage and struggles. But it, the, the Gita is uh, one chapter within that story. But if you look before the Gita, before the the battle takes place, there's a scene in the Mahabharata where Krishna and the warring party, uh, one of his cousins, go to, uh, I'm sorry, Arjuna and and the warring party, uh, uh, they go to Krishna because he's he's related to both sides. Mm -hmm. He's like the grand cousin or the grand uncle, and they want his advice. And they want to see who he's supporting, essentially, which side he's on, mm-hmm. whether he's on Arjuna's side and his brothers or on the opposing side. And when they get there, bo- they both get there at the same time, and Krishna is uh, taking a nap. Uh, and then when he opens his eyes, uh, his eyes fall on Arjuna. And so he says, you get first pick. Um, on one side... You get my armies ready to fight, obedient to your generals Mm -hmm. and to anything you wish to do with the army. And on the other side, you get me, but I will not participate in the battle. And Arjuna, without thinking, without hesitating, he says, I choose you. Mm. I choose you. Higher higher ground. (laughs) Meaning he chooses the divine over material force. Excellent. Yes, and the opposing side is very happy with Mm. the results because... They're like, ooh, we get the army. (laughs) That's right. But there you see the question that befalls all of us. Yeah. What are we going to do with our life? Am I going to follow the path of materialism? And battling uh, the external forces and trying to conquer and gain power in material ways. That's right. Or am I going to find a way to relate to that deeper self Mm. in us? Mm. 